Here's part four of our conversation with Paul Carrick. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. So the Eagles got back together. So Timothy and Don and you, uh, what, what else, what was involved in that project? You guys were going to form a band? Yeah. I mean, this is before they got back together. I don't know what was going on. I had known uh, Timothy. I met him in 75 when we went over with Ace and we were number one with uh, How Long or whatever. And uh, he was in a band called Poco, but I hadn't kept in touch with him really. Actually, having said that, I seem to remember him turning up when I did a show in uh, LA with and with, with um, Don Henley. They came to see us playing in some club somewhere, the band that I had with Nick. But anyway, I got a call from Don Felder and he said, look, the Eagles aren't working. We want to work. Timothy, Joe Walsh and myself, we want to do something. Would you be interested in coming over? Just to point out that at some point, Joe had bailed out before I got there. <laughs> so um, it was Felder and Timothy. And I went over and stayed at Felder's place. Actually, I stayed on his boat, which was moored up in Oxenard. I stayed there. And we just started writing a few songs, making some recordings in Don's uh, little studio there. We had another guy uh, called Max Carl. Do you know Max Carl? From 30, he was in a band called 38 Special. Oh, I know the band, yeah. Yeah, terrific guy. A really, really oh, funny guy. Oh, he's with, guy. Uh, with Grand Funk, isn't he now? I think he, he might be. He was with somebody else. But uh, um, 38 Special, he had a hit with. and um, Second Chance. Second chance, correct. Yeah. He was a funny, funny guy. And we we had a lot of fun. We were belly laughs, you know, um, trying to make these tapes. And we recorded uh, various songs. Everybody was getting excited and saying, oh, this could be good. In fact, somebody said, uh, this could be Genesis meets the Eagles. And some of the guys, some guys said, oh, what, you mean the genitals? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, one of the songs I took over was this song, Love Will Keep Us Alive. And it was written by uh, uh, Jim Capaldi, Peter Vale, and myself. And we, we took this song over, and I was singing it. Um, so we made a bunch of tapes. Everybody's getting excited. It's going to be quite good. Anyway, obviously, to cut a long story short, the Eagles did actually reform. But the good thing was that I got a call from uh, Timothy saying, you know, I need a song to sing on the new record and uh, i'd like to uh, how about i i do love will keep his life it's fantastic great where are the tapes of all this stuff do they do you think don has them i'm sure he does <laughs> i'd be surprised if he doesn't but uh, no that's that's a good point actually i wonder if it'll ever see the light of day how's the album coming along yeah it's coming along good i think i'm gonna have to uh what's the word Josh? i'm gonna have to give myself now a thing because i'm at that st stage i've done this before making albums completely <laughs> by yourself you know, and at the beginning, it's it's easy. It's like, oh, great, you get a couple of ideas, you know, you develop them, you put a few dubs on there, it's all coming together. In the middle, it's all fine. And then it gets a little bit, getting it over the line and sounding like a record is, this is the bit I hate, actually, because <laughs> I, I love messing around with music. I love playing with music and um, having fun with it. But uh, there comes a point when you're doing an album like this, you've got to sort of get it into presentable shape. And uh, But I, th I think we're going to be okay. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, in fact, we want to put a release date on it as soon as possible to give me that yeah. in impetus to, to finish it off, basically. Around and then what? do something else. Around how long do you think? Well, we want to put it out in June. So we would need to finish it up by mid-April. So you're you're playing everything on it. Do you play drums? I know your son plays drums. Yeah, he does. Actually, I started on drums. I mean, I am a I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. You know, I'm, <laughs> I play a bit of everything. I'm I'm no, I'm self-taught. I've no uh, schooling or anything like that. I've learned on the job. But I started out on drums, actually. Yes, and um, I bought an organ, a little cheap organ in order to join the local soul band because they needed one and there were <laughs> there weren't any around so and somebody showed me a few chords and 
and my brother plays guitar, so there's always a guitar lying around. And I've got pretty good musical instincts and feel and, and all that sort of stuff. I don't have a lot of theory or anything. We'll have more from Paul Carrick in the next three, four days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. This is Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.